art. So today's look is so fun. It is just as colorful as can be. I picked up some little Wet n Wild palettes with just crazy colors at the drugstore. These were extremely inexpensive. I think like three, maybe four dollars. And then I have a collection from OPI that this is kind of based off of. The Brazil collection by OPI, Liquid Sand. I'm just, I'm so excited about this look. I think it is super fun. It is kind of, we're coming to the end of summer, so this is my last hurrah, summery, fun looks, and I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please keep watching if you'd like to see how I did this eye look. See you in just a sec. All right, guys, so we'll be starting with the NYX White Eyeshadow Primer. I'm using this because it's really going to make those colors pop. And I'm applying it just with a concealer brush I had. I'm not even sure where it's from. Any concealer brush will work just fine. And as you can see, I'm really packing on that white base. The first color I'm using is the yellow color from the Wet n Wild Art in the Streets palette. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush to apply that. And I'm just patting it on from right below the brow down to the crease. And then kind of into the inner corner and blending it out a little bit past where my brow ends. The next color is the dark pink from the Wet n Wild Poster Child palette. I'm just using a small, no name eyeshadow brush to apply this. It's going to go all over the lid from the lash line up to the crease and I'm pushing the pigment into the lid rather than wiping. We don't want to blend out, we really want to just get as much color there as possible. Next I'm using the little brush that came with the Poster Child palette and I'm dipping the spongy end in the black. Right where the pink and the yellow shadow meet, I'm going to draw a very, very thin line. And then I'll be using my e.l.f. contour brush from the Studio Collection to blend that line out a little bit. This is my favorite brush for really precise blending. This is going to deepen that crease and give the eye a lot of definition. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild eyeliner in the color Turquoise to line my waterline. I'm extending the color all the way into that inner corner, the tear duct area, and then I'm pushing it into those lower lashes. This doesn't have to be super neat and tidy. Well, keep the wing tidy. We're going to be following the lower lash line to extend that color out into a wing. Let's keep that pretty precise, but the rest we're just trying to get as much color there as possible. This is meant to be a bold look. Now I'm taking my very favorite eyeliner, the L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Black is Black and an e.l.f. small angled brush to create another wing right above that turquoise wing. I'm starting on the outer corner the way I normally would, following the lower lash line, except this wing is going to be right above the line of the turquoise wing. Now I'm going to connect it to the rest of the eyeliner with another thin line. You can make this start wherever you want, depending on how big you want that wing, then just fill in the space and thinly and precisely line the rest of the eye. I'm going to bring this all the way into the inner corner and then I'm going to take my sweet time here getting everything just the way I want it. Now I'm using that NYX White Eyeshadow Base again and with the same concealer brush that I applied it with the first time I'm going to draw a very thin line right underneath the brow to highlight. Now I'm taking the green color from the Art in the Streets palette and my little precise blending brush and I'm going to deepen that crease even more. And having a little bit of that green in the crease is going to really tie the whole look together. And with my e.l.f. small smudge brush, I'm taking the same green color and I'm going to set the turquoise eyeliner. This is going to make that color so much more vibrant and it will help it stay put if this is something you're going to be wearing for a long time. Next I'm going to do one little coat of the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara, which I really like by the way. And then I'll be applying these Ardell Accent Lashes just to the outer third of my upper lash line with my Duo Eyelash Adhesive. And these little guys add so much to this look. They make my eyes look amazing. And once the glue dries, I'll be taking that same eyeliner brush, the same L'Oreal Lacquer Liner, and I'm just going to cover up anything you can still see of the glue or the base of the lashes. Then we're on to our last step. We're just going to apply one more coat of the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara to tie everything together, blend all the natural lashes with the accent lashes, and finish off those bottom lashes. And here you have a finished look. We have got so much color going on. This is such a great, summery, fun, crazy look. And I really hope you enjoyed it. For the second part of this tutorial, I'll be using all colors from the OPI Liquid Sand Brazil collection. 
I found that to get these colors to really pop, it helped to have a layer of plain white polish down first. So that is what I'm going to start with. Please enjoy part two. They say it ain't easy, but it's harder when there's two. 